Hey, welcome back to Diode Press. I'm Graham. So since moving across country a few months ago, I've been kind of working to get my studio set up and things where I want them. And for my lighting, I've been using my large kind of studio lighting with the umbrellas that I use to film most of my videos. But I also wanted, you know, kind of a lamp for when I'm just drawing or sketching on my own and not recording it, just something to have on my desk. So that's what I'm going to make in this video. So I was recently at a scrap store and came across this piece of metal. And I'm not sure what it was originally for, but it was only $5. So I picked it up and I figured I could make it into a cool lamp. And you can really do the same thing with, you know, any kind of object. And then for mine, I decided to use just an Edison bulb on top. So let's jump into the video real quick and get it built. So here's everything you're going to need to build the lamp. And obviously you're going to have to, you know, use your own object for whatever lamp you want to make. But I'll have all these listed in the description box. The first thing I had to do was clean up the pipe. So I first started using just sandpaper and steel wool and trying that and didn't do a whole lot. So I ended up soaking it in white vinegar for 24 hours. And then after that, coming back with the sandpaper and the steel wool and that completely removed basically all the rust off of it. Vinegar does a really great job. The hole on the end of the pipe's too big for my lamp kit. So I got this PVC plug that I'm gonna use. And I also didn't want the lamp directly in contact with the metal pipe. I think it's better to have some separation from the you know, electrical parts and the metal base. The cap I got has some text written on it with the size information, so I went ahead and filed that off. And now to fit the lamp kit, I'm drilling a small pilot hole in the center of the PVC pipe, and then I'm gonna drill a larger hole that perfectly matches the threaded section from the lamp kit. And the last thing I did here was just to paint the PVC cap black with some spray paint. Just so it doesn't stand out and it kind of matches the lamp kit that I'm using. So the lamp kit in the supply list is the brass looking one. But I also bought a black kit because I like the aesthetic of it a little bit better with a polished metal. But it's really up to you which one you want to get. So each lamp kit's going to vary a little bit differently in how it's put together and wired up. So you'll just have to follow the directions that come with your kit and just wire it up how they say. And it's really pretty straightforward. There's just two screws and two wires. Just always, you know, be really careful when you're working with electricity and make sure everything's unplugged when you're doing all this. I'm feeding the wire through the side of the pipe and it's pretty smooth metal, but if you're ever gonna run the cord through, you know, something that has sharp edges, you'll wanna put some kind of protective grommet in that opening so the wire doesn't, you know, wear down over time from rubbing against that sharp edge. So for this kit, all you do is run the wire through the base of the lamp, tie a small knot in it so it doesn't pull back through, and then connect the two screws. So it's really pretty easy. And your kit will tell you which screws to connect which wire to. Once everything was wired up, the PVC cap does fit pretty snugly into the hole of the metal pipe, but I didn't want to ever come apart or you know fall over and the, the bulb come loose. So I'm using some epoxy, just two-part epoxy, and just filling in the gap between the PVC pipe and the metal tube. And this will really hold it permanently and I won't have to worry about it ever coming apart. And here you can see the gap filled in with the epoxy between the PVC pipe and the metal pipe. And the last thing to do is just screw in your light bulb. And I'm using an Edison light bulb in this one that has the kind of exposed filaments. And there's a million different kinds of these. So you can just find one that, you know, fits your look. And the last thing to do is to hit the switch and turn it on. And it's really kind of hard to film a light bulb. So I have a few kind of different views with different camera settings, kind of trying to show the vibe of what it looks like. All right, so that was a really easy project to put together. And I mean, considering the state that the tube was in when I got it, I think it came out really good. I might want to change the bulb that I'm using. I think the tall bulb's a little bit of a, now, it didn't quite match the proportions that I'm looking for, so I might try to find something rounder, a little bit shorter. But overall, I'm really happy with it. And like I said, you can do this with really any object. And I'll have a link in the description box to the supplies I use to make this lamp. So I think that's going to wrap up the video for this week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks! To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to help support the creation of these videos, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page. Thanks!